Hi there. So I am using a face mask to moisturize because I uh, live in the Midwest and it has been hella dry here. Um, if you saw my first vid video, you'll see that I'm going on a no-buy year for the rest of the year and I have a ton of face masks left. When I go to replace the items that I run out of, I want to replace them with something that's sustainable or buy them secondhand so that I'm not contributing to the demand for consumer goods that create a lot of toxic waste and trash for the environment. <clears throat> and I'm going to miss these masks. Um, these are great. Currently I'm using an olive collagen essence mask for mo moisturizing because it has been so dry. And so um, <laughs> that's what's going on here. I only have a few minutes to film and so I thought I would get all this done at one time. This is a little bit of hustle going on here. Um, so I am starting the Whole30 diet. I started today and I, well, I started yesterday. I prepped yesterday and it says Sunday, you're in meal prep mode. First, take an egg out of the fridge, put it in a glass of hot water as you'll need it for your mayonnaise. I made the mayonnaise. That video will follow here. And I have um, a remedy for if you screw up the mayonnaise. Um, the recipe says that you should add the olive oil slowly in order to make it creamy, and that is 100% true. Now, I am a chemist. I have a degree in chemistry. I should be able to follow a formula or a recipe very well, and I missed that little hint. And the first time that I made the mayonnaise, it came out terribly. <laughs> um, but I figured out a way to fix it, and I'll show you that coming up after this. This also says that uh, you should cook your tomato sauce and your spaghetti squash. I had that for dinner tonight. It was actually quite excellent. And then it says make your frittata. So they had us make a spinach frittata for this morning's breakfast. And it was good. It was wet. There was The spinach makes it kind of wet. So when you go to store it, I suggest putting it on parchment paper or paper towels or something to soak up the moisture. But it was good. And then it says finally pack up a portion of protein salad, baby spinach, in a small container of ranch dressing. I didn't get to make the ranch dressing because I don't have red wine vinegar. Um, so I just used a balsamic vinegar, uh, no oil in my salad. And it was pretty standard salad, it was fine. Uh, but the recipe for the spinach frittata was good. And the recipe for the uh, spaghetti squash and tomato sauce was excellent. So I recommend those. But this book has some funny things talking about what you're gonna experience each day. And so I thought I would take you through day one. It says, no big deal, what have I done? It's 3 p.m. on day one. You effortlessly breezed past the break room donuts, feeling smug and satisfied after your breakfast frittata. Coffee with coconut milk actually isn't bad. I don't quite agree. It's okay. Um, it's okay. If you put the straight coconut milk in there, there are some solids that kind of float to the top. I hope that's normal and that I didn't buy a bad coconut milk. I'm not used to what coconut milk is supposed to be like. It's okay. It does the job, kind of. And you've packed a big protein salad for lunch. You resist the pull of your mid-afternoon treat, munched on some jerky and an apple instead. I actually didn't munch. Um, I had breakfast, I had lunch, I had dinner. I felt very full all day and I didn't need to munch. You have a slow cooker full of chili infusing in your kitchen. I don't. Um, it didn't tell me to prep that on Sunday. And right now, you just can't see why anyone thinks this whole 30 stuff is hard. I'm there. I agree with that today. The delusion is somewhat akin to the first episode of any reality show where the contestants are herded together and forced to live in a house. At the end of the first episode, everyone just knows they are going to be best friends for life. I miss my Kramer for the coffee. I don't know if we're going to be best friends for life, but so far we're friendly. We're thrilled that you're feeling empowered by making a good choice after another and bring it back about an hour later. Today you will spend some hours bouncing between feeling really energized and completely overwhelmed. I didn't feel overwhelmed and I didn't feel particularly energized. I had my normal amount of caffeine intake. I drink a lot of coffee and uh, I didn't notice the need not to have the coffee. The idea of changing your life is super exciting. That's true. I agree with that. And, but it's also a little bit scary. 
um, our good friend Melissa Julon coined a term for this, Frexcited. This is totally normal. Share your excitement when you're excited. I am excited. I'm excited about the changes to see if in 30 days it clears up my skin and if other weird health issues go away. I'm aging and things are changing and hormones are changing and I don't like any of it. Um, hopefully this will help out. It, it kind of promises to, so we're going we're gonna to see if I can hold it to its promise. Because after years or decades of less than healthy food habits, the next few days may be seriously deficient in sunshine or rainbows. Uh-oh. And then I will save the next for days two and three. The next chapter here talks about days two and three, and it calls it the hangover. So I'll do another, another check-in at the end of day three to let you know how things are going and how I am responding if it's like the book says or not. Um, so the Whole30 diet is something I'm going to embark on for the next 30 days and we'll see what kind of changes it makes. Um, I'm going to be sad to lose my face masks if I can't buy them secondhand. I definitely don't want to create a consumer demand for plastic packaging. I don't want this to end up as part of that floating plastic garbage island in the ocean. Something I would like to do is to not be someone that contributes to that island. Uh, I can't do anything in my current life plan to help reduce the amount of trash that's currently there, but I can do something to make sure that my habits don't put anything else there. And so that's this will be a change when I run out of these, but I have a lot. And so I hope you enjoy the video coming up here of me making the mayonnaise, screwing it up, and then fixing it. And with everything in your life, everything that you do, I hope that you rock on and be the change that you want to see. Cheers. All right, so making the mayonnaise should be pretty simple. I tried to make a double batch because the book said that you're going to go through this very quickly. And so it's two cups of oil total, uh, two eggs, ground mustard, salt, and lemon. The lemon is to keep the eggs from turning. And so if you saw there, I filled the bowl with the olive oil, went and read the directions, came back, unfilled the bowl, only put in a small amount of oil, the two eggs, the mustard, and the salt should be coming up here, yep. And then you use a hand blender um, to mix it all together. And when I first started doing this, it was nice and creamy and it was looking like it was going to be a mayonnaise. Um, see, it wasn't looking so bad. And so I was quite optimistic and then I dump a bunch of oil in, having missed the hint, dump a bunch more in, and I am furiously mixing it because now it looks quite disgusting and nothing like olive oil. I'm sorry, nothing like mayonnaise. It looks like pancake batter. And I went to go put in the lemon because you're supposed to put that in at the end. I mix it up again and it turns into kind of a disgusting mess. I use a spoon to juice. I don't have a juicer and I can't buy housewares. I don't think I need a juicer. A spoon works just great. Um, and so here I am again furiously mixing, furiously mixing, and it is just liquid. It is nothing like mayonnaise. Um, so I started in a different bowl, started again, and look beautiful, beautiful thick mayonnaise. And then I slowly added in my old mixture to a new mixture of an egg. and it turned out like mayo. I wish you a fantastic rest of your week. Happy Monday and rock on!